Okay, real quick video on how to test for ethanol in fuel. Uh, all you need is one of these things. I don't know what it's called, but it makes you look like a scientist and uh, you can pretend you're really, really smart. Even if you're not like me. <clears throat> and it's gotta be uh, uh, measurements on there. And then you need testing fluid which again you can pretend that you're really really smart because you got testing fluid to check for ethanol and fuel but really it's water so what happens with ethanol is ethanol will mix with water but gas won't so what you do is you take your cylinder and i always will put in 10 milliliters in this case put as close to 10 as I can Maybe drop more a little more a little drop accuracies okay so there's actually there's actually about 10 and a half milliliters in there. That's okay, as long as we know that there's exactly 10 and a half milliliters. And then what we're gonna do is dump a bit of gas into this, as close to 50 milliliters as we can. In this case, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever amount you want. Just keep it accurate. A little bit more than 50 again, doesn't matter. And then, we'll pop the lid on. Shake it up. Let it sit. And uh, if it's, uh, before five o'clock, you're gonna drink a coffee, or if it's after five o'clock or noon on a weekend or holiday, you can drink a beer. And let this sit and settle. And what'll happen is, if there was ethanol in the fuel, you would see a higher level of water as it would mix, the water would mix with the ethanol. In this case, it hasn't quite settled, but we can see that there's basically about that 10 and a half milliliters that I was talking about uh, uh, of water that I put in. So we know that there isn't any ethanol in that fuel, although it should sit for a little bit longer and it's a good excuse to drink a beer. So there's no ethanol in that fuel. If there was ethanol in there, um, we would you know, perhaps see 13 or 14 um, milliliters of water mixture at the bottom and if I actually seen that there was any then you could uh, do this a bit more accurate and calculate the exact percentage but in this case no ethanol in that fuel and it's good to go.